In our Health Watch report, a new global study shows that one type of drug can delay the onset of type 1 diabetes for two years in high-risk kids and adults. Local 3's Shelly Botot has more. An immunotherapy drug delayed the onset of diabetes in a high-risk twin for two years. Researchers hope this is a big step toward preventing the disease. Megan and Maduline Coder were different in one way. Megan was diagnosed with diabetes at age nine. As her twin and having four of five proteins that target insulin-making cells, Maduline was at high risk. She got diagnosed in September and I started the trial in April. Madeline got infusions of teplizumab for 14 days. She didn't get diabetes for two years. I know I'm going to get it sometime, so I knew I should be expecting it, but it was very nice not having to have it immediately. Megan dove in and was very diligent, and Madeline could watch, and for two years she just did that. And then when she had to step into that role, it was she did a good job. It was easier for her. Ben Arroyo Research Institute President Dr. Jane Buckner calls this study and its results groundbreaking. This is certainly the first time looking at people at very high risk of getting diabetes who don't yet have it that we've been able to prove that we could delay disease with this treatment. Of 76 participants in the trial, 72% who got a placebo developed diabetes. Compared to only 43% who got teplizumab, most of those in the trial were under 18. It's a really important time in life for their health, for their growth, for their mental health. And so two more years without this disease is really going to have a huge impact on them. They hope more studies will lead to FDA approval. Dr. Buckner says trials are being planned to extend the benefits of teplizumab, perhaps even preventing diabetes altogether. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 3 News.